Hi everyone, you are in for a treat. In this video, a speed through, I will be doing some spray ink fun in this new uh, Dilusions journal. And first I'm kind of setting up my work area, swirling the spray inks a little bit then misting the entire spread with water, covering um, two areas of that page with the teal, covering another couple spots with the cobalt blue, and lastly, following it up with some sprays of purple. And sort of re-misting with water just to get everything liquidy before we turn the page get a little bit of ink smeared everywhere as I attempt to squish them thoroughly together peeling them apart reminds me of those Rorschach tests or those squish together tempera paint folded butterflies we made probably in elementary school art class as you see here I'm taking a wide paintbrush and just sort of um, kind of getting the areas of ink that are pooling towards the um, crack or the spine of the book, spreading those out and making sure that everything was covered. Next, I lay down a hand cut stencil. This one's yoga themed, yoga pose themed, spraying water through the holes of the stencil. Peel it off just a little bit, flipping it over to the other page. Uh, roll paper towels here is just the thing you need to pick up the newly rewetted areas. And take a paper towel and roll that over the facing opposite page as well. Um, then flipping the page, well, flipping to a later page in the journal, putting the stencil in there, sort of misting some water over it, uh, just to kind of clean off the stencil a bit. Next, I take a baby wipe and am running it over the stencil, which kind of, in a way, um, dilutes it, yet puts it uh, in the areas where the stencil film is not, the holes of the stencil, flipping it over, doing the same thing. This is sort of a twofold effect, cleaning it and also creating a little bit of texture to work on um, at a later point in the book. Finally, doing a little bit of cleanup here. As I thank you very much for watching and tuning in, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to talking to you next time.